Hello everyone, in this tutorial we are going to talk about how to start with uh, slope stability analysis in uh, MIDAS GTS in X as a software for a uh, finite element to solve the geotechnical problem. In this tutorial we will talk about uh, the slope stability and we will analyze uh, the same uh, uh, problem we had worked on in the last uh, uh, three uh, tutorials. Uh, we will start in this model now. We will uh, do it in 2D and 3D and we will see what is the difference in the results uh, uh, between the 2D and the 3D. We will go here first to the 2D and I will say OK. I will go here to import my problem as DXF uh, from the file here. I will go here and I already got my problem apply cancel. I will come here and develop a surface and I will choose everything and I will say apply and close and I will come here to delete my um, uh, layer I imported from uh, AutoCAD. Now I will go to mesh and I will start to define a material here and it will be isotropic. The material will be uh, 4000 uh, kVA OP19 for the unit weight and the porous will be 21 and void uh, will be 19 and uh, we will define it as more coulomb and we'll add this as 0.2 and we know that why we can decrease the cohesion in uh, my dash gts x uh, in x less than 0.2 because there will cause a numerical uh, problem if we made it zero so uh, we we just keep it as 0.2 as uh, the uh, my dad's GTS and is proposed for this value. We will make this 32 and the dilancy angle will be 2. And at this uh, time, we will say apply and cancel. It's just one material, and the property here will be uh, 2D property and it just one material so I'm gonna just say apply for the meshing here I will choose this part and I will mesh it as 0.25 and I will say apply so this is my material now cancel now I will I will just come here and I go to constraints I will add auto constraints and I will say apply and for the gravity load I will say apply now my problem is done I will go now to analysis and I will add slope stability analysis strength reduction method strength reduction method and I will add everything here and I will call this analysis as one from the control analysis there is no water pressure and for slope stability we will keep all the default and we already talked about this in details in the geotechnical engineering course using my dash gts and x so we are keeping this as it is now and we will start to solve our problem and we will call it slope 2d and we will start to run our problem so it will take some moments and as we agreed we have to check that we are using all our processor as i see here um, i have a 12 processor and i enable the gpu acceleration uh, so make sure you know your um, uh, your computer specs and you add them how to make this by control shift and escape uh, you go here to performance and now you look here you have six cores and you have 12 logic uh, logical uh, processor so you add this number and you have to uh, enable uh, the core as we can see here in the performance uh, in the process uh, my gts nx is uh, the solver here is taking all the speed uh, because it's running right now 
so if I went back here he already solving it takes some moment get the factor of safety from the strength reduction method I will just stop the video until it's done then I will get back with the result <laughs> my analysis now is done and as we can see here that there is no problem and uh, the total run is uh, this time so we can just move now to the point of uh, results and here he's telling me that the factor of safety using the strength reduction method here was 1.559 uh, and the same problem in slide we remember it was 1.52 and here 1.4, Spencer 1.52 and my problem here using uh, uh, Sloop W if we uh, opened uh, this model last time and the result here is a factor of safety the factor of safety was um, the results here was the factor of safety was uh, from this analysis 1.49 and if we remember that this analysis was 1.5 in uh, the other result that means that uh, our problem was uh, uh, credible and we can depend on any of this soft software but the benefit of the is the software GTSNX over the other software that now here we can see the developed displacement over time we can as we can see here this is the total displacement so we can see here in all if we compared all the analysis here that this was the critical factor of uh, critical surface which caused failure if we compare this with my dad's GTSNX and this uh, this will be the problem uh, this is the same uh, failure surface here sorry I will just make it fringe so we can see here that this is the failure surface uh, and if we showed the uh, the strain so we can see that this is the critical surface which caused failure we can improve our problem here by showing the contours and we can show the contours here by different color if we want black so this is the shape of my contour and from this uh, software we can see we already have the same uh, failure uh, so from my dad's GTS NX we can see this we can see the total displacement and we can see here the minimum and the maximum uh, displacement of uh, this uh, that this slope will move 25 uh, centimeters and we can see here the stresses as well we can see SYY and we can see uh, stresses in X direction and as we said we can see the equivalent strain in both sides so from this tutorial now we already ex uh, see how we can analyze the sloop stability in uh, 2d and my dad's gts and x and how can we improve this uh, factor uh, this um, 
uh, this factor of safety if we have more loads we will see this in the next tutorial see you in the next tutorial thank you